Hey, it's Matt at the Roughhouse Studios, and welcome to my product spotlight for the Bazooka from Tobor. This is a portable dabbing rig. This video is brought to you by IE Sig Best. If you'd like to learn more or to purchase a Bazooka, please visit IESigBest.com. Now let's get started and take a look at what comes in the box here. We're looking at the standard edition there, which actually comes inside of a nice little case. Inside the case, you have the tow bore unit itself. There's a carb cap, an instruction manual. There's also a little dabbing tool. And then there's also the borosilla kit bubbler. We're also gonna take a look at the deluxe edition, which it comes in a different box. And the only difference mainly is that it's a different bubbler. And you can see the bubbler on it. It's kind of a, a double chamber. Now let's take a closer look at the Bazooka. You can see it's a very unique looking device. It's got sort of a chamber on each side. It's a metal alloy casing. At the bottom of one side, there's a little flip cap. Underneath that cap is where you adjust the height of the flame and also where you add the butane. This is not an electric device, it's all mechanical. On the other side, there's a compartment that opens up. Inside of that is a storage chamber. Inside of that chamber, you can see there's a little cleaning brush and there's also a additional screen or it's additional chamber for using it with flour. We're gonna be testing this with dabs or wax, but you can also use these with flour. At the other end of the device, you have where you connect the bubbler on the, the side that's black there, the little rubber gasket, and there's an air path in that. And then on the left, you have the metal chamber. There's a glass bottom to that chamber and that sits right on top of the heating element. It's got a little flip cap there that opens up and exposes the, the four nozzles where the heat will come out, where the flame will come out. And then on the side is the actual fire button. You push that down and it'll trigger it, which we'll see once we get it loaded up with some butane. Uh, there's also a carb cap. It's a magnetic cap there that goes on top. That's also got an adjustable airflow in that if you want to use it also with the dry herb. And then we also have the borosilicate glass bubbler. And e either way, if you have the pro with the bigger bubbler or this, the standard bubbler, it goes in the same way. And there's a little uh, a place where you'll line up the air path and the rubber gasket with the air hole on the bubbler. And there you go, there's the complete unit. Now, the first thing you do is fill it with butane. Uh, this will fit most size butane adapters, and you'll wanna press it uh, two to three times for two to four seconds until it's completely full. And then after it's completely full, you'll close it, and you'll wanna let it, let it rest for two to three minutes before you actually fire it up. And then once it's got butane in it, you just push down the fire button, and for about three seconds, it'll fire on its own, or you can hold it down if you wanna continue letting it fire. And then the flame heats the bottom of the glass of the chamber there. And then if that was the chamber with holes in it, it can be used for dry herb. This is without holes. So no holes when you're using it for wax and liquids. Obviously it would run right through. Now, if you're using it for flowers, you'll also want to change the carb cap. You can see there's a little hole in the carb cap that you use for wax, but it twists on the bottom and you can close that hole up uh, for using it with flowers. Also, when you use it with flowers, what you'll do is you'll take out the little compartment on the bottom has the flower bowl in it. So what you want to do is to take out the bowl that's in there now for the one that comes in at default, which is the one without holes. And then you'll replace that with the, the bowl that has the holes in it for flowers. And then with the carb cap and all set up, you're ready to use it for flowers. Now, when it comes to filling the chamber for the bubbler, the best way is to pull the water in from the bottom. You don't want to add water into the top, especially when it's on the unit. So pull it in from the bottom and uh, hit it a few times until it evens out. Okay, so now we're going to try it out with some wax, or actually this is some fresh pressed rosin. And I've noticed that you could load pretty good sized dabs in here, or I'm not actually loading it first, I'm gonna dab it onto there. A couple of different ways you could use the device though. So this is the very first time using it. I'm heating it up and it's a very clean bowl and it didn't retain the heat as much as I wanted to. So this first hit falls a little bit flat as far as getting a big puff, but it had amazing flavor. So that was one good thing about it. I really do like the flavor of this pipe in general. And even though this was kind of a smaller hit, it is capable of really big hits. 
And I found that the best way to get the bigger hits is uh, to load it first, put the carb cap on, and let it heat with the cap on it. And then you're able to get some pretty big hits like that. But you do have to be a little bit careful because if you use too much heat with the cap already on it, you can end up with the carb cap itself that's pretty hot. And then you can burn yourself trying to take it off. But I really had fun with this. I like the fact that it's portable, easy to go anywhere. It doesn't have any batteries. As long as you have butane, it's going to work for you. Uh, you can get big hits, good flavor off of it. And you can use it for wax and oils, but you can also use it, like I said, for dry herb. We didn't test it with that in this experiment here, but it worked really great with the wax. So I'm real happy with the way this hits. And like I said, I really like the fact that it's portable and small. And once it's cool off, you can pretty much just stick it in your pocket or back in its case and go anywhere you want to with it. Now you've seen me a few times use the carb cap incorrectly by using it with my hands. It's not the way you want to do it. You could burn yourself. You use the carb cap like so with a little, uh, the little metal dabber tool. It's magnetic right there on the top. So that's the proper way to use the carb cap, not with your fingers. All right, so let's go through the highlights of the Bazooka. It's $79 from iesigbest.com. It's an innovative mechanical design with no batteries. It uses a refillable butane operation instead. It's got the borosilicate glass bubbler. You can use it with flowers or wax and oils. It's easy to use. It has an adjustable flame. Uh, it's easy to clean and it's portable. And at under $80, I'd say it's a really good value. If you'd like to learn more or to purchase one, you can find out how to do that at iesigbest.com. I hope you enjoyed this product spotlight. If you did, hit that like button. Follow me on Instagram at Roughhouse Studios and visit roughhousestudios.com for hundreds of cannabis culture videos made just for you. This is Matt from Roughhouse Studios. Thanks for watching.